One is information technology, nobody can match us. It is the backbone for knowledge economy. Second one, demographic dividend, that is second one. Third one, youngsters. Because of youngsters, entrepreneur skills. If you can see, in India, every very, very big number, people are having aspirations and also they are becoming entrepreneurs. If you can compare anywhere in the world, even China, they are having disadvantage now, diminishing population. That will be a big problem. Even Europe, even Japan, all these countries, all of us have to think positively. This is a great nation, great future. We can do greater things. All of us unite together. I'm having that belief. I have seen everything. We used to, uh, as chief ministers, even five, uh, five crores, 10 crores projects. Now we are talking 50,000 crores, 40,000 crores, 1 lakh crores. Even today, green hydrogen people are coming with 1 lakh crores investment. That is how things are improving. I am confident, great nation, great people. All of us are having great responsibility also. If we join together, as you rightly mentioned one thing, I am requesting, why can't CAI? Last time we are having some understanding, Amaravati will, will make hub for all this knowledge economy, public policies creation, everything, and other areas as spoke model. If you can come, I will give you land. You establish your headquarters in Amaravati. This is the future city. I will make it one of the best city. We will work together. Then, for the last so many years, three decades, we worked together. It is your turn now to help me. That is what I am expecting. Together we will work. We will make a difference. In all, any area, as you mentioned, I am prepared to adopt, I am prepared to work with you. Always great listening to you, sir. Uh, sir, uh, uh, we have uh, the chairman of the BCG India, uh, uh, Janmajaya Sinha, he wanted to speak to you. He has worked with you very closely earlier, too. Uh, sir, I had the privilege of working under your chairmanship for spreading digitization right at the time of demonetization. The Chief Minister's Committee. <clears throat> I was sitting next to Neil Raheja, sir, and we both had an idea that in Amravati, there should be an authority created for data, which should be a cross-party uh, authority, so that we create the best data in uh, which is not challenged by one party or the other. And your current position is so powerful, sir, and we are also happy about it that if you were to suggest this, and we locate it in Amravati, and we create this uh, data authority of India, which is uh, cross-party, then we can really take advantage of artificial intelligence, sir. And there is no one like you who might be able to push it through, sir. What is the concept, sir? Can you elaborate? Sir, if you look at it right now, no data of ours is uncontested. Even if we say joblessness, we don't know how much joblessness there is. We don't know on so many dimensions, our data is very poor, even with our GDP, sir. So we need an authority which has all the data, which cannot be challenged by one side or the other. So we, from the start, make it cross-party, but it's an independent authority like UIDAI, but it is collecting data, sir. And this data will then make India really a leader in artificial intelligence, sir, because the, the core of that is data. And right now, we are not even being able to, frankly, share our data. So we don't know household consumption data, whether it is shared or not shared, we don't know. And we are not having good data on most dimensions, sir. And this has to change. If we want to become a developed nation, we cannot do that without developed data, sir. No, I will be very happy, sir, how to work it out if we prepare a concept paper 
will make Amaravati as a hub. Really, you, as you rightly mentioned, data is wealth, but proper data is very important. For artificial uh, intelligence also, uh, data is very, very crucial. That is the main fuel for artificial intelligence. I will be very happy to associate. If you can come with proper uh, project report or some ideas, then we will explore and take forward. No, only one thing I'm telling you as a politician, I am always ahead of times. Sometimes I'm, I lose elections because of that. <laughs> Originally, in 1998, I implemented four sector reforms. Even Orissa executed, they failed. But I attempted, I was able to produce good model, then every state has gone for power sector reforms. First mover sometimes will have an advantage, sometimes disadvantage. Politically, I got a setback. 2004 elections I have lost because of aggressive taking the economic reforms, especially power sector. But at the same time, I am having an advantage. All initiatives I have taken in Hyderabad, now Hyderabad is a one of the best city. If you ask anybody, they will mention my name, who has done all these things. That is the satisfaction I'm having. I may not get vote, but I'm having satisfaction by doing all these things. Today, today in information technology, I started 95, number of engineering colleges. Then I used to say always, don't do job work, go for products. Then I used to start, don't do job, provide jobs. Not a job seeker, provide jobs. Today I am very happy, our people have become entrepreneurs. Recently, they arrested me, you are all aware, but 80 countries people demonstrated 53 days. They are all aware that I am honest, and also because of me, they are all in different parts of the world. That is the satisfaction I'm having. I'm telling all of you, even for doing right things sometimes, we may not get recognition immediately. Ultimately, that recognition will come. That is the satisfaction one should have. That is the satisfaction I'm enjoying today. Fourth time, this time, if you see, historic victory. Never we have seen this type of victory for the last 45 years. In times of inability, in times of majority, one of the best election people has given mandate. So if you do right things, immediately we may not get bonus. Ultimately, people will reward. That has been proved in the recent elections. So with all, uh, my idea is all of you has to help me P4 model also. Think positively. It is a little bit complicated, but it is possible. Only we have to add our ideas or management bandwidth for eradication poverty. Government is spending decades together so much of money and reservations, but poverty prevails in India. How to eradicate if you can create ideas with the government, governments, and private partnership, we can make a difference. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, you spoke about uh, many areas. Sir. If I just wanted to uh, go back in time and remind you that we, uh, you had inaugurated that time with also uh, Bill, uh, President Bill Clinton that time, and thereafter, uh, our president, uh, Dr. Abdul Kalam, laid the foundation st uh, stone of a building that we created, which was called the Green Business Center in High Tech City, where it was coming up. And I'm, I'm happy to say, sir, from that Green Business Center, which was launched by you, uh, today uh, India has 12 plus billion square feet of uh, green rated space. And that building was the first building which was platinum rated outside of the United States. And this 12 billion plus uh, square feet of green rated 
uh, uh, space in India, be it office, be it a stadium, be it a railway station or a home or an office, is again second only to the United States in, in terms of the number. And that particular center in uh, Hyderabad has been visited by many heads of states and many, many other dignitaries. And we are actually today servicing beyond India and beyond Indian companies uh, for green, for green rating, green products. So, sir, we would like to bring such a center of a different kind on areas that you mentioned, which encompasses skills or water, sustainability, food and agriculture, even digital transformation. Uh, we'll put that all in together. We'll come, uh, we'll discuss with this uh, very august body of CII, all of you, or many of you, uh, you know, and we'll come with a proposal for Andhra Pradesh. I was talking to Mr. Bajaj, with Sanjeev. Sanjeev Bajaj has also agreed, like Mr. Birla has done, a center on skilling and employment in uh, Rajasthan. So we will uh, uh, um, work on it to see to it that we create a big center uh, which encompasses all of that in 